Snoring is very common. Depending on what you read, anywhere from 40 to 60% of the population does snore at any given time. Snoring is very simply just vibration of your tissue, whether it be in the nose or the back of the throat. So in the nose, there's little skin folds called turbinates. And when somebody has, let's say, allergies, for example, those turbinates can get very inflamed. As air goes through there, it can cause the tissue to vibrate, which is where snoring is. In the back of the throat, if you have the uvula, which is a little thing that hangs in the back of the throat, that tonsillar tissue, soft palate, which is kind of in the back of the roof of the mouth, somebody can have those tissues vibrate and that also can cause snoring. So it's either from the nasal passage or in the back of the throat. There's definitely genetic reasons for it. Tongue size, where the jaw sits, how high their tongue is compared to the roof of the mouth. If there's other tissue that may be compressing the airway. There's reasons such as alcohol, right? Alcohol can make the tissues in the airway more relaxed and that can cause them to be more floppy. Weight definitely plays a role, right? The more fat tissue you have around the neck, the kind of the more it's gonna squeeze in the airway. If people spend a lot of time on their back, that can cause snoring as the tissue kind of falls backwards to the back of the throat. Snoring as we get older is more likely to occur. And that's because just as we get older, our muscles become more lax. So snoring by itself really is not much of a problem, but snoring can be representative of sleep apnea. So if you think of it from, this is a normal airway, here's where snoring happens, where it's tight, and then here's sleep apnea. Okay, so the airway is totally closed off. And that, that over time is not good for somebody to have.